Here's the capsule docking on the International Space Station. The crew say they're honored to serve as a symbolic link between the past and the future. Someone who understands that link quite well is NASA flight engineer Jessica Meir. Next month, she'll be making that same trip up to space. Tonight, she tells Melissa Correa how NASA has changed in the past 50 years to build to the future of space exploration. Search Astro Jessica on Twitter and Instagram, and you'll find behind the scenes videos and photos posted by NASA astronaut Jessica Muir. Right, I hope that it does inspire and stimulate young girls to strive toward careers in the STEM field. As a little girl who grew up in northern Maine, Jessica I was affectionately known as Space Girl to my family. Fell in love with nature and found inspiration in the night sky. And this September, after six years of training, Jessica will launch into space. The Soyuz spacecraft will transport her to the International Space Station, where she will do research for up to six months. Her crewmates are from Russia and the United Arab Emirates. And I hope that for all the children and people growing up and adults too, when they're seeing that, we're seeing a well-integrated team from a diversity of backgrounds. 50 years after the lunar landing, you'll find more diversity at NASA, more engineers, more researchers, more astronauts who all look like more of us. No matter what we look like, where we came from, what our backgrounds are, everybody's there working as one diverse team. In outer space and here in the space city. Jessica helped her friends rebuild after Harvey, and with dreams of visiting Mars and landing on the moon, she plans to keep Houston on the horizon. The opportunities for all of us are out there now, and all you need to do is really set your sights on those, what really drives you, what you're passionate about, and work hard toward it. And when you achieve it, be prepared to soak in the moment. The one thing that I've always dreamed about is just that image of looking back at our planet. Everywhere you've been, everybody you know, everything you've ever experienced is down there in its entirety and you're suddenly on the outside of it with only a handful of other people. So I think that that moment will really be quite profound for me because I've thought about it so much in my life. The youngest of five, while in space, Jessica knows she'll miss her family, her favorite foods and fresh air. I'm really interested to see what I do miss the most. I'm not sure that I can really anticipate it. I know. I feel like you'd also go through like all of your books faster than you normally would. Like you get caught up on everything, do your taxes early, <laughs> all sorts of random things because you don't have to sit in Houston traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I am very much looking forward to not sitting in Houston traffic. Yes, I will not miss that. And for that, I'd be like, take us with you. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Muir, the next generation of NASA.